Okay. Go on, wipe your ass. Lovely. Lovely. Uh. <laughs> uh, seriously, like. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Get some bullet sleep. We're back. Intermission. Wipe your ass. Let's start. you grow into a model American citizen and master the use of your trusty guns. Cool. How many bullets have you fired? Procedure? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. <laughs> I don't How know. How many bullets have you fired since the start of your journey? Uh, not that many. What? Seriously? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone a winner, babe. How much time do you think has passed since we began our journey? Seventy niners. Correct, you are. When an intruder comes into your house, which <laughs> item will help you the most? The gun. Correct. Our studies have shown that a gun will be the best option in ninety-nine out of one hundred house invasions. And the other time? It's a chainsaw. See what you did early. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you love America? Huh? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> you really mean? Okay, we'll go for the middle ten. Yes, that is the correct answer. Who is a good boy? <laughs> Bud. Oh, oh, bud. Thank you. Woof. Woof. How many degrees should you spend for a no scope shot? Uh, how many? What? 360, says the audience. Correct. <laughs> Anything less, and you're a filthy noob. Oh. Thank you. During the intermission, <laughs> feel free to get up and use the restroom. Or perhaps purchase some sweet snacks or guns to keep your body and mind satisfied and to keep the glorious capitalist machine well oiled. We've got a lot more in store for you, so rest up, relax, and when you're ready, we will proceed. Okay. Do we guns? Matches. I've run out of bullets, Lee. Okay, let's go. Who the knows where it is? The gun industry began with humble ambitions. Some saw the rifle as nothing more than a machine made to throw balls. But it was the keen American eyes of our gun industrialists that realized the untapped potential of those balls. Combining American ingenuity with our unmatched manufacturing processes, those noble poets of wood and steel went on to produce guns en masse. It was a glorious age of progress for our industry, but there was one problem. All these guns needed owners, and there just wasn't enough war around to match our supply. An American once said, if you want to make a pile of money, Invent something that will enable these Europeans to cut each other's throats with greater facility. Huh? And so we shipped our guns to Europe. Helping our friends slaughter each other for a while. And business boomed. See, we're it learning was late. A time of great innovation <laughs> and prosperity. We made repeating rifles, revolving pistols, Gatling guns, semi-automatic pistols, and even a gentleman's cane gun. However, so as the industry grew, <laughs> we began to see the limits of the market. Relying on ebb and flow of war was simply not sustainable. The gun began as a commodity like any other. 
an appliance to fulfill a specific purchase. Your metal balls at high velocity. However, for our industry to survive and to extend our reach, we needed to elevate the gun to greater heights. <laughs> it doesn't look bulletly. Okay. Thanks for the little history lesson. Pooch. Alright, good to go. Get comfy, strap yourself in, and let's begin the second half of your journey into the American dream. Okay. We're getting wedded at 21 in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death us to part. Sing song. We are gathered here today in the presence of these witnesses to join these beautiful young American patriots together in matrimony like Barrow and Stone, commended to be honorable among all, and therefore is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, passionately, lovingly, each other, stand together through sorrows, joys, and communist attack. <laughs> For all the days of your lives. No 
buying you back. There we go. Pump it. Guns where state legislation permits. Can't be too careful. I can now shag the bride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just severely. <laughs> Jim. Jim. Jim, Jimbo, Jim. What are we waiting on? Hmm? Oh, right, yeah, of course. Too exciting. Where are we fires? It doesn't fire now. Damn right we do, Lee. May these rings be blessed as a symbol of your youth. As often as She's so pretty. Rose of the vows you have made. The strength of your commitment to each other and your country. <laughs> I'm gonna cry! Shoot him or will I? Sit down, Bubba. With that unpleasantness out of the way, go now in peace and live in love, sharing the most precious gifts you have. The gifts of your life, united, and your right to bear arms. And may your days be long on this earth, the chances of which increase with daily target practice. Nothing weird about this. <laughs> Go on, kiss the woman. Smooches. Now, as is customary, you will leave the charge as the guests spray you with bullets. The bullets represent lights, which was once used to represent seeds, which were used to represent fertility. But since you already knocked up, Taylor, <laughs> well, it's uh, all a bit of a boot point anyway. <laughs> God, given <laughs> his first gun. That's just a beautiful. <laughs> They're not gonna spray me with bullets. We're done. Bob Bubba. What was that? Okay, let's get on with it. Ah! 
Alright, that's... That was beautiful. There's a tear in my eye. Take a look inside the factory of the future. Where a single employee can do the work of many. You made it just in time for work. Lovely. Yeah, at Golding's Bagel Company, all our bagels are lovingly gun-crafted to perfection. Most customers can't even taste the lead. Hit the button to start up the machinery. Okay. Remember, the secret to a delicious bagel is the well-cooked dough in that perfect hole in the center. Remember, guns okay. don't shoot the holes out of bagels. People shoot the holes out of bagels. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Put no. some in the oven, please. Someone slept something nasty in the dough. Get that into the bed before it gets into the oven. Remember, guns don't <laughs> shoot the holes out of bagels. People it's, it's shoot meat. the holes out of bagels. <laughs> Wait, virgin. You let a poolless bagel through. Okay. Now some poor customer will probably have a nervous breakdown. So there is like a huge rat in that bagel. <laughs> Send it to hell, or at least not through to the customers. <sighs> what the? Half eleven? Like I need a break. A There's a wee bit of rat in that one. <laughs> the unmatched efficiency of the American system of manufacturing. With our cutting edge <laughs> machinery and talented workers, whether it be bagels or guns, we okay. have the ability to produce more than anyone could possibly need in a lifetime. <laughs> Remember, guns don't shoot the holes out of bagels. People shoot the holes out of bagels. It's tea time. It's lunchtime. Use the vending machine to order yourself a tasty meal and eat up to make sure you have enough bullets in your proverbial magazine. Okay, we'll hopefully get a wee hot dog and a donut lee and a coffee and a burger and a donut and a burger. And a Woo! Okay, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> It. <laughs> Diet burger and coffee leaf. Okay, <laughs> I just swallow this. <laughs> so silly. There's a wee bit of. Bagel shooter toils in the factory to keep our citizens fed. The good people of the gun industry work around the clock to ensure a steady supply of guns to keep American citizens safe. These are good family people, like yourself, who want nothing more than to earn a living and feel safe. Dear, dear. Mm, there might be a little too much protein in that bagel. Better not let that one into the oven. Oof, ne er, nearly three pints. Remember to shoot first, eat bagels later. Time's up. I think the boss will be pleased with the results. Cool. Take this home to my wife. <laughs> oh, I haven't got babies yet. Oh dear. Loaded. All right. That about does it for today. Let's Stop. get <laughs> moving. Stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Nice. There we go. First baby. Every end marks a new beginning. We are now entering a new mode. Oh. That's exciting so far, isn't it? Married. 
working and having a baby. What is this? <laughs> Dread to think. prepared two iconic American activities for you to enjoy. First, beer. Oh, this delicious golden beverage has several health benefits, including being an excellent source of carbohydrates and self-confidence. Nice. We'll have three of those. We've armed you with a special alp Nice catch. Now crack it open and have a swim. <laughs> Our Patriot Ready beers are brewed with love and ample amounts of Patriot juice. Extracted fresh from the deep mines of Wisconsin. You won't find a beer as delicious as this anywhere else in the world. Except maybe Australia. But they banned guns there, so they can go get fucked. Refreshing. Shoot your cans into the trash to dispose of them. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll get another one late. Oh shit. Shoot your can into the trash to properly dispose of it. Hell we'll guzzle it. And then Oh yeah. Now that you've learned how to drink a beer like a true American. Let me share the next activity, television. This all-knowing box of knowledge delivers up-to-date news about the community, the country, and less importantly, the rest of the world. Woohoo! Need a be early. Get on the TV, kick back, relax, and enjoy a well-earned break. Breaking news. After a recent expression of freedom in a schoolyard, the president has expressed his desire to restrict the sale and use of automatic assault weapons. What? Seriously? Those damn gun grabbers are at it again. They just can't leave our freedom alone. The America we love is burning before our very eyes. Are you fed up with tying your shoelaces by hand? Introducing the Cutter 1912, the one-stop tool for all your everyday needs. Just shoot yourself in the foot and you're good to go. We cannot keep giving a platform to these mass shooters. We are awarding them with wall-to-wall -wall attention and the sense of identity that they crave. The media are creating a whole new generation of copycat killers, and they must be stopped. Ah, copycat killers, almost as bad as actual cats. When you're out hunting and get surrounded by a hundred bears, <sighs> what are you going to do? Let them take you captive and have their way with you back in the depths of the bear cave? Don't be a victim. Arm yourself with an SR-15 assault rifle and send those frisky bears straight to hell. <laughs> Holy smokes! Taylor's water has broken. Oh no! We need to get her to the hospital so that the baby can be safely brought into the world. Oh, you no. Remember the emergency services number, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that it? Probably September. Okay. Is it not 911? <laughs> it was three numbers, right? <laughs> was I meant to be paying attention? Okay. Hello, operator. We've got a woman in labor, and she's ready to deliver us a fresh American patriot. We need an ambulance pronto. Oh, my bear. My bear. And here they are. The ambulance service, much like your guns, can always be counted upon to take care of you in times of need. Beautiful. We're now at Coke Hospital. 
where the kind doctors and nurses will help Taylor deliver your beautiful child. Like all good Americans, doctors have learned how guns can enhance their productivity in new ways. Rather than relying on dangerous surgical instruments, such as scalpels and forceps, doctors have a variety of medical guns to use instead. Surgery has never been safer. Now we play the waiting game and leave the rest to our skilled American doctors. I assure you, things are going fine. You sure? <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Is that guy smoking in a hospital? How irresponsible. Good riddance. This hospital is a safe space once more. See what Remember, the dead dirty. Only cigars should be smoked in a hospital and <laughs> only after the baby is delivered. The baby. Push. <laughs> Don't even ask. <gasps> there she is, a healthy baby girl. That's a good cigar, Doc. <laughs> Give the baby a smack on the fanny. <laughs> a new American. <laughs> What could she grow up to be? An Olympic shooter? A raider of tombs? A masterful chief? A bounty hunter? A gear of war? A bold <laughs> space marine? A soldier that answers the call of duty in modern warfare? Anything is possible. A beautiful baby girl. What should we call her? <laughs> Bang. What a wonderful name. We'll call her Bang. Seeing you two and your new baby makes me think of how the gun factory of tomorrow will spawn new guns and gun owners for generations to come. I hope you're as excited to see it as I am. Oh, the, the baby's joined the ARA League. Okay, will we do another one? Okay, we'll do one more and then... End of the early... Bye, love. Missed the secret again, Leek. <laughs> uh, uh, it's all happening. Congratulations! You've worked diligently and have been able to purchase your very own mm. home. Whilst your partner takes care of many of the indoor chores, such as the laundry and cleaning, it's up to you to get your guns dirty with the gardening tasks. Beautiful. In many ways, this garden could serve Ooh. as an allegory for our country. It is vast, awe-inspiring, and home to many fine things. The different plants represent the variety of citizens that call America home. Some good, and some bad. The good plants represent the innocent, law-abiding, freedom-loving masses. Oh, I know, and some of them are good. There are the bad plants. Good grass. Think of them as the parasites, villains, cats, That's communists, and predators <laughs> that intrude on our peaceful territory. Amongst the population, there are exceptionally good flowers, such as the noble rose. Roses, with their stunning looks and sharp thorns, represent the patriots like you and I. Strong, refined, intelligent, incredibly good looking, and deadly when necessary. You are a rose, and your guns are your thorns. Remember, it is the duty of the roses to protect the garden. Okay. Guns aren't just useful for tidying up in the garden. 
They can also be tools for nurturing flowers and helping them to grow to their fullest potential. <laughs> Do you need to get all that? Here we have a nursery of Americus Libertus Bellus Perennis, or American Daisies, known to be one of the most brilliant flowers in the world. They must be cared for with the tender love that only submachine gun fire can provide. Oh, hey there! How's it going? I could really go for a drink right now. <laughs> that flower looks thirsty. We need to find a way to get water onto it. Oh, jeez! I'm getting real sapped! <laughs> Oh jeez, I'm getting real sapped. Okay. So, what? I don't get. It's getting a bit dry here. <laughs> I could really go for a drink right Is it now. Like a hose or something? There's gotta be some water around here somewhere. Water, water, water. Okay. Oh jeez! There's like it's the pond leaf. Simple science. Bullets plus cloud equals rain. Duh. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, that's good. Sure to keep those flowers happy and healthy. Oh, oh. Now, the perfect garden wouldn't be complete without a nice hedge to frame it. Our hedge wall is looking tall and even now. But as it is subject to the whims of nature, this may not always be the case. Oh, yeah! Mm, that's good! Nature. Unreliable. Guns, on the other hand, they're never gonna let you down. When Mother Nature misbehaves, we can help her out with a bit of man-made ingenuity. Use your gun to trim the tall hedges, and then call down rainwater to grow the short hedges and get it back into the correct shape. Get the garden into tip-top shape. Get those hedges tall and even. Take care of those flowers and make sure the lawn doesn't get overrun by weeds. Cats are busy leak. We need to get it down to the down to something. I don't know. Oh. The hedges are too tall. They Cut are. Down to size. It's gonna take a lot of bullets. Oh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, hello. Consistency sure oh. razzes my berries. Oh, hey, yeah. up there in the that sky. Is good. The sweet scent of liberty has attracted a group of angry birds. <laughs> They've got their eyes set on the delicious pie that Taylor <gasps> baked for us. No. That pie was baked with loving American hands, and by God, it will be eaten with our American mouths. <laughs> so truly. Good Secret. thing we have our faithful eagle to defend us. Go, Eddie! <laughs> uh, okay, well, no matter. I guess it's up to us. 
Stop those red bastards from taking over our garden. See what Defend they did there. the pie until the timer runs out. Okay, that do for this video. We've done the garden and we got married and we had a kid and keeping your garden clean and beautiful. Just as good American patriots keep our homeland clean of those who would try to strip away our freedoms and threaten our perfect way of life. Lovely. Beautiful. Let's go have some pie. We'll be back in the next episode, maybe. Oh.